welcome to learn Thai with Shelby. In this channel, I post content to help foreigners to improve their Thai skills. Most of my videos I create from mistakes that people make when I teach them. I'm not sure at what level most people here are. So please comment below if you are a beginner, intermediate or even advanced level. I want to know you guys. So I have some ideas for the next coming up videos and I want to know my audience. In this video, I'm going to talk about three tips to help you speak Thai like a native. Number one, stop saying Pom Kun Chan or the town. As you know, Thai has a very simple grammar. You can say a sentence in several ways. Pronounce an unnecessary thing that you can skip. You don't have to say them all the time. So how could you know when to say a pronoun or when not to? If you want to start a conversation with a stranger, like for a very first time you meet that person, you can start the first sentence with Pom Chan and kun when they respond to your first sentence the next sentence you can skip pom chan and kun you can say anything you want let's try another situation if you bump into someone that you know or you want to have a conversation with them or you want to talk to them about something you can easily say just the sentence without using any pronouns that's how native speakers would talk number two make a sentence as short as possible this tip is related to the previous one it's not only pronouns that you can skip you can also skip saying krab ka ka all the time so what's gonna happen when you don't say those particles nothing gonna happen you're not going to offend anyone by saying krab Ka. It makes you sound polite, but if you say them in every single sentence that you say, it's gonna become annoying more than showing politeness. In fact, there are a bunch of ways to make any sentence sound nice. The main factor is your tone. It's all about your facial expressions. Bye mai, bye mai, gin mai, gin mai. Do you see the difference? If you know how to say a word in several ways, try to use the shortest version of that word or learn more about how to say a word in a casual way number three learn the way that the language is actually spoken you don't want to sound like a robot right or you don't want to sound like i'm reading a book not having a real conversation the only way to pick up the language is speak with locals. If your life isn't surrounded with Thais, if you're not married to a Thai, you don't have Thai colleagues, you don't have any Thai friends, then you can learn by observation when people talk in daily life. You can hear that from anyone, anywhere. Whether it's a taxi driver or people on the BTS, what if you don't live in Thailand? YouTube solves every problem guy. Nowadays, Thai films, Thai series add English subtitles or even Thai descriptions. Sometimes you can find these resources for free, but you have to find the right method that it suit with your goals. If you want to learn Thai for survival, you can watch Thai films or Thai dramas. But if you want to learn Thai for business, watch some news or advertising. If you want to learn Thai for flirting, listen Listen to Thai songs. So use the right method for the right purpose. Spoken Thai and written Thai are two different words. Thai in songs use words differently. Thai for advertising is a word of its own as well. So make sure you are learning the right way to achieve your goals. Thank you for watching and I hope those tips were useful. I provide one-on-one -on -one lessons through Skype. If you want me to be your private teacher, please contact me directly. My contact details are in the description box. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook for free content like this. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye!